How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Do you have Milwaukee heated gear like this heated jacket? Do you do quite a bit of working outside? Sure your bo body's warm, but how about your feet and your hands? You know you can put them in the pockets here and warm them but you're not going to get much done with your hands in your pockets. Well if this sounds like you, this is a video you want to watch. Here we go. I've had this Milwaukee heated jacket for a few years now and also have the heated hoodie. Love them both. And I was thinking one night, when kids are complaining outside, what are they usually complaining about? Oh, my hands are cold. Oh, my feet are cold. So then I thought, oh, I'll just get on Amazon and I'll just see what kind of options there are to add to this. See if I can find something to take care of that complaint about cold hands and cold feet. So I found and ordered these. Some heated insoles for my work boots from iHeat, as well as some heated gloves from MatCow. I figured this would be a good time to try both these out because the temperatures are going to be dropping well below freezing and with my job I got to go where the vehicles are broken down which a lot of times we're out in the parking lot to do some no starts because of dead batteries or even some frozen up airlines and frozen up brakes due to the you know rain in one day and freezing the next so let's open up these take a look charge them up and I'll try them out so first the heated insoles for my heat open up the box comes with the charger remote control so it's kind of hard to turn on insoles when they're in your boots what I like about this charger it's got the USB as well as two USB-C outlets. So you can charge both insoles at the same time. And then you got some instructions. Definitely recommend reading those before you start. And your insoles. See at the back where you can charge them. And also cut them to size. Gotta make sure don't cut below that line because imagine you'd be getting into the heating grid. So, grab your work boot. Boy, I need an alignment. Anyway, pull your work, pull, sorry, pull your insole out. Oh, you can smell it from here. So then you just match it up to your insole. Which, this looks pretty close. I don't, don't think I even have to cut that. Now I'll leave an Amazon link in the description of this video if anybody's interested in picking up a set or even want some more information. So that'll be there with this as well as the gloves. So before you order them, just do your research, look at your sizes, make sure you get the right one. So like I said, make sure you get the, the left and the right. Match up your insoles. Cut them to fit. Then stick them in your boots. But before you do that, you want to make sure you charge it up fully. Now with both products, when the temperature drops in the next day or so, I'm outside. I'll show you how the temperatures are doing. I'll show you the outside as well as my feet and my hands. And then we'll uh, see how warm they keep them as well as I'll tell you how it feels. So before you put them in your boots, on each one of them, press and hold the power button for three seconds. You see it's on the standby. As stated in the instructions, High temperature is red, medium is yellow, and low is green. Now I press the button, red, yellow, green, or with a flashing red you're in standby. So once you turn them on, get them in your boots, and grab your remote. If you want to change the temperature, press high, hold it for a couple of seconds, or medium, or low. 
and press and hold the button and you're back to standby that way whenever you want to turn them on or off or change the temperature you don't have to pull them right out of your boots so just to do a quick little test we've only got the one turned on let's turn it to high and we'll let it sit for a couple minutes let it warm up I'll take my snap-on thermal imager and we'll check the difference between the two sitting on my toolbox. Now according to the instructions, estimated heating time on high is about five and a half to six hours, medium seven to eight, and low is ten to eleven, as well as there's temperatures. 65 Celsius, 149 Fahrenheit, 55 Celsius, 131 Fahrenheit, or 45 Celsius, 114 Fahrenheit. Okay, well I've had it turned on for about five minutes or so. See the thermal imager? There's my thumb. As you can tell, this one's off. And there's my thumb again. And you can see the heating grid is basically uh, right around the you know balls of your feet, right where you stand. And we're up to 123 degrees Fahrenheit. And now 125, slowly creeping up there. Now it doesn't look like it's going to get to full temperature. Just out in the air as you can read here put this insole in a small closed box or quilt for 10 minutes and pay attention to the center of the foot and heating area so with it out in the atmosphere probably not going to hit maximum temperature but we'll put them in we'll try it and see how it feels after all as long as your feet feel warm you're good let's pack these up after and we'll uh, check out the gloves and now for the heated gloves from Matt Cow. If uh, I'm not pronouncing that right, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, let's open it up and see what we got. Keep your hands warm in winter. Got your user guide. A little thank you note. And these ones come with some uh, outer kind of mittens to go over top the heated gloves to keep them clean. Got your heated gloves here. Get your switch up on the wrist. A little battery compartment on the back side or on uh, this part of your wrist. And again, you get another plug with two plugins. That way you can charge them both at the same time. And nice little bag to carry around with. You don't want to put it in the box. So we'll open it up. There's a little uh, zipper pocket here. You get at your battery. There's the specs on it. Charge it up. Put it back in. And then uh, let's try them on. See how they fit. Now, with me wanting to uh, basically work with these, I went with a medium glove. That way it would uh, be a nice snug fit. Press and hold the button. Turn it on to max. And whatever level you want. And up the top, you got your battery meter. Press and hold it again. That shuts it off. So... Put them on. Oh, it seems a little. Not too bad. I don't have uh, very large hands like uh, the nitrile gloves I wear. I wear a medium. But this fits real nice. You know, my fingers are right to the tip. Fits good around the hand. And it doesn't seem uh, too tight around the wrist. And I got full range of motion. And it's easy to get at. Now, what I was thinking of doing with these to keep them clean, because I wanted to use them at work, 
is like I said, I usually wear a, a medium nitrile glove. I figured, I wonder if I get a large, I wonder if I could wear it over top that way, you know, keep things clean. And get more life out of your gloves. Now, even uh, dealing nuts and bolts and stuff like that, they're not too clumsy. Well, we'll see how they work. Now, there's nothing worse than working out in a parking lot, trying to use your hands, and your fingers are just freezing. So I'm hoping this does a trick. Now, the heating element on this is on the back side, which makes sense, because if you're working with these, you're going to end up damaging it as well is I do believe it'll work with the uh, touch screens yep so just like the heated insoles I'm gonna turn it on max we'll let it go for a little while and we'll see what kind of temperature we get out of it now when I test both the gloves and the insoles, when the weather tanks in the next day or so, I'm going to go outside, going to do some work, and I'll give you my honest opinion if uh, it makes it more manageable. Now the gloves have only been on a couple minutes. This one I haven't turned on yet. You can see my thumb there. Just cool. Now I take the one that's on. See my thumb here? We're up to the wrist, and here's the back of the hand. You can see there's heating grids on the back of the hand as well as in the fingers. That's where it's going to come in handy. Now, as far as temperature, They're about 93. And that's the fingers. So this is the back of the hand. It is kind of hard to focus on it. But the white part is 106 degrees. So it's uh, yeah, getting nice and toasty. But you know, I can take all the temperatures I want. End of the day, if you're using it out in a cold. It's either going to work or it's not. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion when I put them to the test. Just like I do in all my videos. So when we come back, we're going to be outside where it's uh, not so nice out. So I got my heated insoles going. My heated gloves. My heated jacket. Toes feel nice and warm. Hands feel nice and warm, with the exception of the very end of the fingertips. They can feel a little bit of cold. So here's some thermal images. The battery I jump started was between minus 3 and 4 degrees. My feet warmed up to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And my hands, they warmed up to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Made a great difference. I've gotten two skid steers and a one ton uh, GMC going. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for another one. Well, in my opinion, the iHeat heated insoles with remote control and the Matcow heated gloves are a definite welcome addition to my Milwaukee M12 heated hoodie. As you can see in some of the thermal images, it was down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 17, minus 18 degrees Celsius. Definitely not very uh, comfortable working conditions. And to be honest, I felt my feet noticeably warmer with the heated insoles. Especially in this area where the heated element is. Kept my toes nice and warm. And the gloves. You know, it was a windy day as well, so you got wind chill to add. Hands felt warm, with the exception is right at the fingertips. You know, you felt, it, it felt a little bit cold, but it definitely made working outside way easier and 
I, you know, I wasn't rushing to, to get back into the shop. Now, honestly, I didn't really know how much of a difference it made until later in the afternoon. Didn't warm up much today. Had these out, had my gloves off, and I ran out to the parking lot just to just move a vehicle around. And oh wow, it got cold real fast. So these definitely made a big difference. Does anybody else out there have any heated insoles, heated gloves, or any other heated equipment for working out in horrible conditions? Let me know in the comments section. Well, if you got value out of this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when we get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good night and keep wrenching.